man and his cat volume one review. The cat is nearly one, yet he's still for sale in the pet shop. Patiently, yet feverly hoping for someone to buy him. Cute kittens are snap up in no time, and potentially owners call him ugly. He's distinctive, certainly a flat-faced cat, an exotic short hair, and a very large for his age. But surely there, may, there must be someone out there who will want him. The young lead assistant in the pet shop calls him ugly cute, but has obviously found him. And then one day, a mature gentleman comes into the shop and declares as he strokes him, and she decided what I wanted him. He's a very, very lovable. But once installed in his new home, the cat soon realizes that his owner has never looked after a cat before. It's going to be an interesting learning experience for both of them. We see the relations grow between Mr. Kanda and his new pet, who he calls Fukumaru, but realizing wrongfully that the cat will respond happily to any name he is called. For both of their both points of view, Mr. Kanda, and accustomed to the ways of cat owning, soon learns a hard way that many of the things he has purchased for a nice young lady at the pet shop are utterly rejected by Fukumaru, the cat house, the collar, oh yes, especially the collar, and the enclosed little tray to contain the cat little litter. Fukumaru is an enthusiastic scoffer. All these details will ring true with cat owners, and then there's an innumerable cat pictures to take with his new smartphone. As for Fukumaru, he adores his new owner. Audrey he becomes very jealous and realizes there's a rival for Mr. Kanda's attention. A big black closet thing for which his owner draws loud now sounds. It is called a piano. To go into too much detail will spoil many of the delightful, amusing and affecting little scenes in his first volume. For an occasional glimpse into Mr. Kanda's memories, I realize that his current certainly become a widower. We get to meet some of his work colleges and his dog owning friend Kobayashi and look as if they will play a part in future volumes. The manga is ongoing, but four volumes on the Japan so far. It's told in a very few short chapters. The structure of the enables the manga god that swap viewpoints very swiftly from man to cat and back again, with the occasional four panel gags to vary the rim. It's a pleasure to have another engaging manga that falls into the A for all ages category, even though with its old human protagonist. It's more likely to appeal to adults than say, the more child-centered cheese sweet adventure if you like the anime series, My Romance is a Cat, as I did, you certainly enjoy a man and his cat. Another tale of a man, much older this time, with solitary, with solitary, solitary life is transported by owning a cat. There's always a danger with this kind of story that a narrative will lapse into senti sentiment sentimentality, but fortunately Makaka Omisakurai knows when they ring back and seasons her man manga with a welcome dose of reality. But turn out the new Square Enix manga imprint. Have a produced a very handsome edition with four color pages and a flowing translation from Taylor and Gale. The text can have been so easy to render in English as Pokemaru's internal monologue is sprinkled with a lot of meows. I hate Mew. Mew got nothing. Mew is big, that's all. Pokemaru addressing his arch enemy, the Grand Piano, with the first page on a man and his cat, number one, and the publisher's website here, 8 out of 10.